yet again, the disabled feel the brunt of Brexit. And in this case, it's the blue badge holders. Mm. And there are 2.3 million of them in the UK. And they're concerned that they could get penalised for driving in the EU, then parking up somewhere where they would have done before Brexit, with no problems whatsoever, where it would be a public car park, you could park free of charge, or, you know, or designated places you can park, what have you, you know, the sign saying for disabled, what have you, but you have to, you know, show the, the, your blue badge. Wasn't a problem before Brexit, but now it is. Now, many countries have, well, they've adopted the, uh, you know, the, the blue badge, the UK blue badge. They recognise it in the EU, in some countries, which I'm going to share with you in just a mo. But not all, no. Now, if you don't know anything about me, um, my son is disabled and he has a blue badge. And I happen to live here in France, so I'll get into that one as well. But the countries that are accepting the uh, blue badge, the UK blue badge, in the EU, in you know, Europe, what have you, are as follows. And I'm going to do the little inverted commas because the problem is not many, well, police and what have you, who will be checking the cars that are driving past or the equivalent of the traffic warden in these EU countries actually know their own rules. There are so many stories of um, people getting caught out, getting fined, and then they've got to try and fight their corner. Well, not be funny, it's not that easy if you don't speak the language, is it? No. So, which countries recognise the UK blue badge? I've got to remember them now, <laughs> so bear with me. <laughs> it's Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland. Oh, crikey. Oh, Germany, Hungary. Oh, Ireland, Latvia. Liechtenstein, uh, Malta, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Slovenia. No, Slovakia. Sorry, not Slovenia. Slovakia, uh, Sweden, and Switzerland. Now, let's say, invert commas. You need to check first. And the other thing is, not just for the entire country, you might need to check region by region. <sighs> Just complicates matters, no end, doesn't it? You know, you'll be thinking, you're stressing trying to find yourself a place somewhere to park. You try to get something close enough because you can't walk or whatever. Or you struggle. And then you've got to worry about that now as well. Now, countries which the blue badge is most definitely not okay in is Bulgaria, Slovenia, and France, as we shot where I am at the moment. Now, my son, who is disabled, he has a blue badge. It allows you, with a blue badge, to park in, well, any public car parking space and what have you. But unfortunately, it's no longer valid. It's not recognised here anymore. No. You might be okay, you might not. Pop luck. It's a gamble. That is. See, France has its own system. It's called the CMI. And it's, uh, it's a car... Mm. Cart uh, Mobility Inclusion, yeah, Cart Mobility Inclusion. And that allows you to park in certain places and what have you, but also um, in public car parking spaces free of charge. But not anymore, no. Now some uh, countries accept all, not just the UK ones, but all non-EU uh, parking cars, your blue badge cards, cars. Um, and they're accepted by uh, Greece, Iceland, Italy, but only in some regions, not all regions in Italy. The same with Lithuania, not all regions, uh, but in Luxembourg and Romania. But Spain, <laughs> including the Balearic Islands and the Canary Islands and what have you, um, the UK blue badge recognition, right across Spain, is well, it's uh, decided by um, local administration, so it isn't like a global thing. So that's what makes it complicated, you see, to find, oh my God, oh, I don't know, do, uh, do, do they recognise the blue badge or not? And I would say, I'd, I'd probably, over all of the EU, I'd probably say, mm, unless you're 100% certain, I, I'd have my doubts that I get recognised, and then you could get, and if you do, you know, if they don't recognise, your car gets towed away, doesn't it? That's not very helpful, is it? Especially if you're disabled. Brexit's a mess, isn't it? It's affecting everybody. And it is. 
and uh, especially disabled if you go by this video anyway maybe you've had some experience of that yourself i would like to know please leave it in the comments down below you might have no problems you know you maybe you spoke to your local gendarmes here in france and what have you and uh, they've said no that's fine you know that's fine but there again you might get another one they might say it's not now i'll leave a link in the description down below there is um notices that you can put with you can print it off and put with your blue card it's supposed to give instruction to um the police or the john Darm or whatever um or criminal or traffic or whoever it might be traffic police <laughs> flick anyway um and then you print that off and put it with it but I'll, I'll leave the link down below and it has a variety of different links per country and you can download a copy of the notice in their language anyway it's time for me to go, so I to tell you though, but please boot the old like, like button because it helps the channel, you know. And if you want to support the channel, you can go on Patreon or buy coffee, and links are down below. And it is very much appreciated that it is because we couldn't do this channel without it. And I'm trying to share useful information now, you know, in my kind of patronising way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a lovely day. Ta ta. Don't forget, boot the old like button and comment down below.